this is Jackie from Gagging and Crafts in Life, and today I want to show you my crocheting. Um, I think it's usually this is a channel mostly about cross stitch, and this video is going to be a little extra um, about my different crocheting projects this year. Um, <clears throat> I do plan on filming another video tomorrow with updates on my cross stitching and my plans for 2021. Um, and for the rest of this year, I've kind of been culminating a list of things, um, but I really wanted to get to be able to show my uh, crochet items too um, before the end of the year, and it'll help some of my planning is crafty planning in general, so cross stitch, crocheting, sewing, and knitting projects um, that I have for 2021. So we're going to start off with just some of my older projects kind of finishes uh, this and not all of them most of my crochet projects were gifts and so they are <laughs> I've been crocheting for over half my life um, since I was before a teenager <laughs> yeah, 10 or 11 um, so I've made a lot of things and most of them yes were gifts a lot of blankets went to my nieces and nephews I made their names in them I have an example of the type of crocheting I did for those um, in my CCSU blanket. Um, more recently, and by more I mean in the last seven or so years, I've made more graph bands, um, which are basically crochet blankets with pictures in them. Um, very similar to cross stitch, you do use graphs to look at them, um, or you can use, if you don't use the graph, sometimes they give you line by line instructions on how many color changes you need inside. Um, so yeah. Without all of that introduction, um, this is still one of my short videos uh, filmed on my lunch breaks. And as a reminder for these videos, this is my right, this is my left. So you will be seeing some mirrored images. Um, but it's the only way I can see what you're going to see and not get my entire laptop out to try to film. Um, so that's where we're at. This was a baby blanket I had made, I believe, for one of my nieces. Um, and then it came back to me when I had my daughter, um, but it is a hooded kind of like towel blanket. It's very soft. Um, there is like the hood that gets cut out there. The holes are not very big for like little fingers and toes. It is closely crocheted together. I don't remember the, oh, and that's not true to color. It's more purple. Then it's showing up. Maybe that's more true. When I come in, it kind of whites it out. Um, but I like this pattern. Um, there's tons of free crochet patterns online, and I'm sure I got this hooded towel, hooded blanket from one of those. The next piece I'm going to show you is another finished piece. Uh, we'll do the CCSE one first. This is huge, and it's been loved. Um, there are some holes in it that I need to fix. Um, it was my blanket that I used all during college after I finished it, which was pretty soon into college. So I can show you parts of it. There is this border along the sides, but these are all granny squares um, with just different colors on the inside. Um, these, one, these ones are the flowered granny squares. The rest of them are all just normal granny squares. And then the lettering is done in granny squares. And so that is the C. C. S. U, which is my college, Central Connecticut State University, um, and our colors are blue and white, and then I have these pretty flowers um, on parts of the border to make it wider. So it is definitely big enough for the twin size, um, the extended twin size um, mattresses at the, um, in the dorms. It is very warm, very comfy, but because of the granny Square style, it's also breathable. You're not totally sweating under it, but very warm. Um, 
the next one is also a completed project and this is a graph GAN done in what's called C2C corner to corner basically you start off with one of these little squares and then you make these two squares and then these three squares and you work it in a diagonal pattern um, and this is Wyatt um, from Super Y I found a picture of him online and helped get it pixelated um, and then I charted in my son's name on the side David of course I think you're backwards so I think if I actually turn it to see the back side you might actually see David better <laughs> um, here's the back side of it graph GANs are something that you work and you will see the pattern on both sides this has tons of mistakes in it um, or things I fudged some of the clouds look a little wonky that's me uh, I made it work <clears throat> a lot of times I didn't notice it until I was already a few more rows in and at that point you're not going to uh, take out a bunch of stitches although taking out crochet stitches is a lot easier than taking out knitted stitches because you just pull it <laughs> um, but working with all the different bobbins for um, the color changes on this project was a beginner um, and I found that to be very fun um, and I came up with interesting ways to keep all of my um, yarn bobbin separated which if any of you are crocheters you know and you do graph gans you know that that can be a struggle and you'll even see that it's a little bit of a struggle in my gagnon blanket because I haven't been using the same technique I've used in that blanket in the next one I'll show you um, just because it's so big and I didn't have the space for it um, I started using like a hanger method where you clip you make your bobbins out of um, clothespins and then you clip it to the hanger like the wire hanger and then they stay in order um, does not work for my king size blanket does work for these guys so here is my other work in progress I need to get more of this purple uh, before I can work on this again um, I thought I was gonna finish it this year and literally we plan to go to Walmart to pick it up because I couldn't find the color I didn't have the tags anymore um, that I chose to use for this and so I was gonna bring a swatch with me and that was right when COVID started um, and we had planned to go like that weekend when everything shut down <laughs> and we haven't been since so I still don't have the yarn I do want to go soonish to get it uh, or at least to slip in real quick see the color that I'm gonna need and I can order it online that way I can have a order history of the color I need in case I need more of it here is my daughter's blanket so far. She has a B. Little baby B. And then her name will be on the side. And I think this one's the back. So we'll flip it around. Again, they're reversible. Except that I am putting lettering on it. Oh, it is big. Okay. I can back up a little more. Okay. And so far for her name, I have, her name is Lillian, L-I-L-L-I-A-N. And we have the N, the A, and part of the I. And as you can see, it gets worked in diagonal. And we've already hit our top corner, so now we're coming in this way. And we obviously already hit our side. And so now, if I can get this in frame, from here to here, we just have to cover the rest of this. Um, so this still is quite a bit more work on it. I need the yarn before I can continue because um, what you can't see is that you carry all your yarn too so even though I have yarn for the rest of the colors um, where I am I need to use the purple next okay and this stays in one of my boxes until I'm ready to work on it up on my cube wall so that my cat does not play with it, sit on the blanket, get it full of cat hair. Okay. Oh, sorry about that. Um, and last, I really want to show you, and I'm so excited to show you my Gagnon 
um, crest project. My husband had asked for a king size blanket uh, with the gagging crest on it. Uh, I tried to design one for a few years. I was trying to chart it. I had the picture of the crest. I got it pixelated. I was trying to clean it up. It was just so much to clean up. There was so much to it. I finally um, paid for someone to chart it for me. Uh, it was relatively inexpensive. There's a Facebook group. I think it's, I'll link it below, um, where you can ask for someone to make you a design. They go through the designers they have at the time. They have a few designers in the group, um, and the admins kind of match you with a designer for what you want. They send you some copies and um, photos of what it might look like, and like you talk about what you need and um, pay them, and <laughs> you get your design. Uh, and for these ones, they do uh, depends on your designer, but uh, mine did like the line by line designing. Originally, he actually had the background in white. And for a king size blanket, I did not want white. Um, and I asked him to change it to another color, <laughs> to red or a maroon. I told him really any color, and then I can just see it on the pattern. I know that that color is my background color because um, there is white in the pattern, and I, I didn't want to have to get, get it confused. Um, and he very nicely just changed my pattern for me, and I was going to pay extra. And he's like, no, like, that's a quick change. Here you go, and sent it back to me. Um, I didn't get started on this this blanket until like a year or more later after getting it designed. Um, but finally did order everything because very similar to cross stitch you do even with Red Heart you want to worry a little bit about dye lots. Um, so I ordered all the yarn at once because um, the way this pattern was I was able to see approximately how many stitches, approximately how many yardages I would need and calculated that into, these are mostly all using, oh, those aren't my, Red Heart Super Saver yarns, and that's because I needed to use a lot of them. I didn't want to use a lot of specialty soft yarns. What some people, even crocheters, don't know about Red Hearts is that, yes, when you're working with it, it feels very stiff. It is a coating that they put on their yarn, and after you wash it a few times, it that coating does come off but it makes it easier to work with while you're making your items. Um, like this blanket has now been washed a few times. It's definitely a lot softer. This one was also in Red Heart and it is very soft now. Um, but when I make them, not so soft. <clears throat> Some things are good for soft yarns when you're making them too. Um, and the, this is just not one of them. This is going to be way too big to show on a single screen, so I'm going to go back and forth on it. Here is the side of one of them. I'm also getting some of my yarn caught in a jumbled, ratted mess. So I haven't taken this out in a while. Here's the middle. It says Gagnon on it, and there's the beginning of the bottom part of the crest. kind of the shielded piece, and then we're going to have a lot of the filigree on the sides that go up. My particular designer from that page is also known as the Garofalo, and he does have his own Etsy page. Um, I think he used to work with someone called like the Wooly Duck, and even though a lot of them say knitting and crochet designs, you could actually also get these for cross stitch. Um, it wouldn't be hard to convert them. And we got the start of the bird. Now, since I am filming these more or less on my phone and then just uploading straight from here, I don't have time, I don't have the ability to insert pictures right now. Uh, and so on Instagram, I am also Gagged and Crafts in Life, and you can go and look for the picture of this blanket. And I believe you can swipe, and I have put the picture of what the entire design will look like there. Um, and so below I will also be linking um, the Garofalo's Etsy site. Um, has some fun other Harry Potter patterns I want to try at some point. Uh, <clears throat> and things of that nature. And so this is all the crochet stuff I have right now out. I also have hats I've made, um, bags. I just don't have, I didn't run over and try to grab them all. Um, 
but this will give you an idea for when I do talk about my 2021 projects, how I want to finish Lillian's blanket and I want to have at least 100 more rows on the Gagnon blanket. Um, you will have seen them if you have watched this extra short video. Uh, and yes, uh, next video I'm hoping to do tomorrow will show more of my progress on my cross stitches, a couple of new starts, well not a couple, maybe a couple if I, if I start another one today, um, and some progress on some other existing ones. I've been having a lot of work time, um, stitching time. So I hope you enjoyed this and I hope you have a great day. Bye!